This video will describe the pop-up menu at the Export Edit Search Target Text screen. So we select that option, and here's our saved target text. Uh, here's the English text. If we right-click over here on any verse, there's a pop-up menu. And the first option, display this verse in the Lexicon and Grammar Development view. So I'll select this option. So I clicked on, okay, this is Exodus, Exodus 1.8. So if I select this option, we're immediately taken to Exodus 1.8, back at the development screen. Let's go back here again. Uh, regenerate this verse. If we click on that, we see the Regenerate dialog. And the grammar is executed, and there's the new translation. And it tells us regenerated text is identical to the saved text. Yes. Uh, if it weren't identical and you wanted to save it, you can click the Save button. Uh, if we right-click, Add this reference to the problem texts. Do you want to add this verse to the problem text? Exodus 111, yes. So now, if we go back over here to the problem texts, Exodus 111 has been added to the end of the list. Let's go back here and uh, edit the save text. Here we can edit the text. Um, you can change it any, any way you want. Uh, I don't want to save this, but you can edit the text, the saved target text. Add a comment for this verse. And now when we rest our cursor there, we see the comment. Clear the comment for this verse. Are you sure you want to clear it? Yes. So now when we rest our cursor there, there's no comment. Uh, display the translation from the Word document. Okay, the, the, by the Word document, I'm referring to, uh, there was a previous video that described the setup button here, Word docs and source databases. So for the book of Exodus, I've selected a Word document. Uh, I'll show you that Word document. right here. So uh, it has each verse, each sentence, and I, I put in a, a comment when I'm done, etc. So that's the document. And here, if we go back, display the translation from the Word document. So it goes to that Word document, gets the text, and now it compares Okay, so this is the docu what's in the document, and it's comparing this with what's saved here, and the differences are highlighted in, in red. So here we see, okay, Pangawas, Pangawasa. Uh, actually, this is, this is the correct version. I need to update the Word document. So this is wrong in the Word document, but it highlights, it finds the first place where the word translation in the Word document differs from the translation in TBTA, and the last place in the verse where they're different, and then highlights everything in between in red. So uh, so those are the options in this pop-up menu. Over here, on the English side, there is no pop-up menu. Uh, 